All right, let's start with something we all know. You ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, wave hello. Ready for a story, wave hello. If you're ready for a story, or books and songs and rhymes, if you're ready for a story, wave hello. Hello everyone! Alright, let's jump right in. My first story today is Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do. And thank you to Charles Bridge Company for letting me share this with you. By the way, do you know what clotheslines are? This is clothesline. Can you see? After you wash your clothes in the washer, you can put them in the dryer, or if it's nice outside, you can hang them outside. So that's what clothesline is, okay? You ready? <clears throat> Look at the clotheslines and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs that they do? This book is like a mystery, and it has clues in it. You all can help me figure it out. Okay, here we go. Uniform and cap, an invite for you. Big bag of letters, see that there? What job does she do? Hmm. She is a mail carrier. <clears throat> Milk pail and straw hat. Milk okay. pail, straw hat, overalls in blue, plaid shirt, and bandana. What job does he do? That's right, he is a farmer. Of a mitt, of a mitt, apron. Recipe for stew. Puffy hat and whisk. Where is the whisk? There it is in the pocket. What job does he do? Hmm. He is a chef. Okay. Smock, a beret. Do you know what a beret is? It's a hat that looks like that one. Let's see, paint brushes, paints of every hue, canvas, and easel. What job does he do? He is an artist. All right, coveralls, tool belt, work gloves, and glue, safety glasses, Saw. What job does she do? That's right, she's a carpenter. Heavy pants, helmet, wide suspenders too. Rescue coat, long hose. What job does she do? She is a firefighter. All right, spacesuit and jetpack, star charts to review, flight gloves, and moon boots. What job does she do? She is an astronaut. Looks like everyone's here. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? The end. Uh, quick early literacy tips for grown-ups in the room. Um, the book that I just read, this is actually nonfiction. And nonfiction books have many benefits that fiction books do not offer. So even if your children are still young, um, it's important to incorporate these nonfiction books. One of the benefits, for example, can be that nonfiction books have more variety of words that you may not use on a daily basis. 
and that's just a good way to introduce more words to your children. So I hope you try it at home. Okay, let's sing a song together. I actually got a request from one of you to sing this today. So um, we're gonna sing a song called Shake Your Sillies Out by Rafi. And I'd like to thank Mr. Rafi and his office to, for permission to let me share this with you today. Um, so we're gonna shake, okay? You can shake like this, or if you have a shaker toy like this one, you can use that too. If you don't have shaker toy but you wanna use it, you can use cups, put some beans or rice in there and tape it together and you can shake it. If you have an old um, plastic toy, eggs like this, you can use that. Make sure you tape it around so nothing spills out, okay? Okay, so first we're going to shake. And then we're going to clap. And then we're going to jump. You know how to jump, right? And then we're going to yawn and stretch. Can you practice? Okay, you ready? Here we go. Gotta shake, shake, shake the sillies out. Shake, shake, shake the sillies out. Shake, shake, shake the sillies out. Wiggle my waggles away. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap. Yawn, 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 my sillies out. Oh, stretch, 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 stretch higher. Good job. Wiggle my waggles away. Gotta shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my waggles away. You guys ready for my second story? I have this book called Jabari Tries by Gaia Cornwall. This boy right here, his name is Jabari. You might know him from a previous book called Jabari Jump. This book today I have is his latest adventure. Let's see what, what he's up to, okay? Jabari Tries by Gaia Cornwall. And thank you to Candlewick Press for letting me share this with you today. Jabari tries. I'm making a flying machine today, Jabari told his dad. Wow, said his dad. Me, said Nika. I think that's Nika. I think that's his little sister. My machine will fly all the way across the yard, said Jabari. It'll be easy. I don't need any help. Jabari built an excellent ramp. He put his flying machine at the very top. Whoosh! Around. Up it went and crash. His machine did not fly. Hmm. Maybe it's too heavy, said Jabari. Me, said Nika. Not now, Nika, said Jabari. I'm concentrating. I need something to make my machine go up. He thought about how inventors have to use their creativity and how engineers and scientists work to solve problems. Jabari gathered up all his tools. He prepared his space. He sketched and planned. I think the ramp has to be big, Jabari said. Really big. After a lot of building and stacking and hammering and sticking, Jabari was ready. Zip, flip, swoosh, around, up, smash. Me, said Nika. 
Nika, don't! You'll break it! You know, I bet Nika would love to help out, said his dad. Jabari looked at Nika. I don't need any help, he said. What if you thought of her more like a partner, said his dad. Lots of great inventors have had partners. Me, said Nika. We'll try it out, said Jabari. Maybe we need more power, Nika, said Jabari. The engineers measured and mixed. Me, said Nika. Jabari handed his partner a stirring tool. Trickle, pour, twist and turn, bubble, pop, fizz, pow. Bash. Nothing is working. Jabari's chest felt tight and his neck felt like a sunburn. Jabari wanted to cry. He took a tiny rest. Hey, said his dad. I see you're really upset. I'm frustrated, said Jabari. It looks like a frustrating problem, said his dad. When I'm frustrated, I gather up all my patience, take a deep breath, and blow away all the mixed feelings inside. And then you try again, said Jabari. And then I try again, said his dad. Jabari gathered up all his patience. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath. He blew away all his muddy feelings. Can we all try it with him? Can you guys close your eyes? And then take a deep breath. <gasps> One more time. <gasps> Jabari felt his body calm down. He felt his brain starting to work better. Nika squeezed his hand. Okay. Let's try again, said Jabari. The partners thought and thought together. Me, said Nika. That's it, Nika, said Jabari. Maybe we need better wings. They cut and glued and shaped and tied. Tinker, twist, snap, and snip. Nika found a launch spot. Jabari held the flying machine up, pulled back, and... Whoosh, up. Flying. Whee! said Nika. You did it, said his dad. We did it, said Jabari. It went all the way across the yard. We are great engineers. We, said Nika. And guess what? What, said his dad. Rocket to Ju Jupiter is next. Me, said Nika. Okay, well, since our last story was about engineering, I thought I can come up with a project for you that you can do at home about engineering. This is what I made. Can you see what it is? It's a parachute. So first you need this part. I use the tissue but you can use, also use a piece of paper or a plastic bag, like this one. This is just a plastic grocery bag and I cut it into square piece. So you can use that too. Um, and then you need four strings, like this one right here. You can also use strings like this, okay? And then right here, you can use a coin for a weight or you can use a tiny Lego man if you have that one in your toy room. This one, I used um, pipe cleaner to make it look like a person. Okay, now the idea is, this is a parachute, so you want him to have a nice soft landing, right? So you want this parachute to go down slow. So try different paper here, try different shapes. You can even tuck it in a little bit and tape it together so it'll make a nice cup shape. And see how you can make it go down slow, okay? You want to see how mine goes? Well, I hope you have fun. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.